First, though, off the top, we are following this developing story from overnight. An hours long standoff in Minneapolis. Police trying to arrest a man who was inside, accused of shooting uh, his neighbor over uh, cutting a tree. So we wanted to bring in our Courtney Godfrey this afternoon. Thank you for being with us. Yeah, and my uh, first time on Good Day. I know. So Courtney uh, works sort of, so you have a lot going on in your life, but you're working this schedule where you're working with us kind of freelance and while you're also doing some amazing things yeah, away from so TV. Yeah, so we had a busy overnight, yeah. so here I am coming in to help out today. Uh, we had a shooting last week, and I know that you guys covered it, but on Wednesday, this individual, Davis Maturi, was shot in his outside of his Lindale home, as you said, yeah. as he was trying to cut down a tree. He was hit in the neck. After that shooting, there were no arrests, despite Maturi saying, this is the guy who shot me. His neighbor, his name is John Sawcheck. And a lot of council members, a lot of public officials were speaking out saying, what's going on? Why have there been no arrests? Mm. Uh, a lot of criticism from city council. Last night, MPD finally did go to Sawcheck's house. They, uh, they, he barricaded himself in, so they had the SWAT team out there. They tried to get him to come out. They were on the loudspeakers trying to negotiate with him. Finally, at about 1 a.m., after hours long standoff. They did breach the home. They went inside. Uh, they said that he willingly came out and he was arrested. Okay. So he is now in, sitting in the Hennepin County Jail on multiple charges, including attempted murder. And we also heard from the police yeah, chief. Yeah, what is Chief O'Hara saying about all of this? Because it sounds like they maybe didn't respond as quickly. Well, and Chief O'Hara, when this first happened, was critical of the victim, saying that Muturi, uh instigated it mm. a little bit. He's changed his tune a little bit and overnight, early this morning, he came out and actually apologized. Let's take a listen. While there were dozens of attempts, literally dozens of attempts prior to the shooting uh, to make contact with this individual and to take him into custody, the police were unable to make contact with this individual uh, since April, since it was confirmed that there were warrants for his arrest. Um, and you know, that included uh, doing surveillance uh, early in the morning during the one time that we had reason to believe he might uh, be leading, leading, leaving the residence. Uh, and so there was extensive work uh, by our officers to try and make contact, to try and bring this person into custody, and we were unsuccessful. Uh, and so in that sense, yes, we failed, we failed this victim. Uh, he should not have been shot. And we did reach out to the victim for response to that apology we haven't heard back yet. Okay, all right, and so this is the story you're working on for today and... And the city council, like I mentioned, has oh, been very yeah. critical. So they, I, I just wanna share this statement yeah. really quick from um, council member Emily Kosky. She came out with a statement after the police chief spoke today and hopefully we can get that on the screen here. Oh, I think we just pulled up the wrong one. Let's see if we can flip that out for, uh, for the statement from... There we there go. We so Emily Kosky says public safety must never hinge on outcries from elected leaders. Our city deserves safety, accountability and a system that responds swiftly and decisively to prevent harm. We owe it to our community to fully dive into and come to understand the factors that allowed this to occur and to ensure that no residents plea for safety goes unanswered. Again, Mayor Fry has dismissed these comments as plain politics. We actually have an interview set up with mm. the council member Koski um, in about an hour. Okay. So we'll be able to bring that to you on our five and six o'clock okay. news tonight. Sounds good. Thanks for getting us up to speed. We'll let you get out the door. Absolutely. Got some work to